What's up? What's up? What's up? <clears throat> Just if you're in the house. Sorry about the shaking, but oh well. hey, um, so I'm gonna finish talking about uh, group leaders to group leaders. Okay. Um, my other video talked about ways to make business. Those are like small, minor things to do. There are a lot of um, more major things that you may want to endeavor in. Um, one suggestion is to find some of your brothers who can, who don't have any records and who can get a passport and can travel overseas and have them travel overseas to different countries. You know, they have a lot of package groups and stuff like that. They can go over there, um, collect a lot of information concerning business, go to China, Korea, um, Thailand, Mexico, um, Indonesia, you know, find a lot of manufacturing places and things like that where they can order stuff like that. You know, talk to a lot of business people. Uh, if you have any um, of your members who are who have, you know, college degrees and stuff, it's best to send them also or send them first and have them take cameras, pictures, everything, you know, get interviews, you know, do some research and things over there because it's very, it's very important that you get out and you talk to other people and send the information back, write books and things like that because that's what um, Europeans did pretty much and um, that's how they get a lot of knowledge. It's not like they created a lot of this stuff, a lot of stuff they got from um, traveling and things like that. So please do that. A lot of you out there making money, you know, different ways and my videos, this video might not seem important and things like that, but what you may want to think about is the fact that, uh, like I said in my other video, is that your, your areas are not producing money. And that's the whole thing what America is supposed to be about anyway. Um, econom um, economy, economics and stuff like that and making money. Now, of course, I know all the other stuff, you know, history and stuff like that, but um, you're there and you, it is your responsibility, no matter what you're doing, you know, to create some sort of income so that you can be free to pursue things. Now, what's lacking in the black community is not, not only that we're not together, you know, that's a big issue, but, you know, there are more, um, I wouldn't say more important things, but there are other things that are um, important too. For instance, our neighborhoods are, most of our neighborhoods are poor. A lot of brothers are out of work and stuff like that, in jail and things like that. And what that does is it doesn't give us, it doesn't permit opportunities for us to develop, you know, in other fields, especially in technology and things like that and philosophy because the, the western philosophy we are taught doesn't um, really well I'm not going to say it doesn't really um, help us because a lot of it probably was ours but it's like watered down in a way where it's not really helping us but um, we do need to develop new philosophies new ways um, um, to socialize with each other and pretty much people just have to say, hey, you know, um, it's time that regardless of your religion or any, anything like that, that we have to push forward. Because if we don't push forward, then other we're just going to get pushed further back. And that's what's happening. Now, I spoke about the uh, math and, and the vocabulary and stuff like that. And like I said, our only problem, if we want to catch up with mathematics, you know, it's easy. It's not really that difficult. Just get the vocabulary and just practice, you know. And those who know need to hold hands. But on a bigger scale, on a larger scale, you know, you might want to start looking up countries where you can start um, getting these machines so you can start producing things. You know, um, like a lot of these name brands, you know, they produce these handmade bags and shoes and 
and things like that. Now you say they're handmade, but you know maybe they have, of course, they have might have some machines and stuff to help a little bit too. But those are things that we, or I should say, we need to do. But you can uh, pursue, and if the machines cost a lot of money, you know, then you know learn about um, the investment world. We got a lot of brothers out there know about investing and stuff, and how to go about doing that where you can, you know, get income from other people, I mean capital from other people, paying them their dividends and whatever and stuff for the government and still be able to develop and manufacture um, manufacture things. When the um, United States was, um, during the slavery times, the United States was manufacturing what well, was it, it was a producer. And that's what um, we need to get back to doing. And um, But we need to control that. A lot of, sorry about that, a lot of um, people that are up in the um, top echelons of whatever group you're in um, really need to understand that um, you must, you have a responsibility and your responsibility isn't always just you, you know, without everyone participating, you know. It's just going to be difficult. You're always looking over your back, and you know the different things that you do. You know, sometimes, you know, it's just more or less like uh, I would say you're 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 pinned down in certain areas and stuff. And we have problems in the hood, you know, different uh, groups and people messing around with each other. But all of that stuff can be squashed. It, it'll take a little time because um, people need to learn to trust and stuff like that. But I say don't worry about trust. Um, to me, trust is understanding what a person will do. So in other words, if you know you got a homie that's going to hit up on your wife, then you understand that. So when you around, so you don't ever bring her around. You know what I'm saying? And stuff like that. You um, trust isn't trust. To me, trust is not what I want someone not to do. Trust to me is what I know someone will do in certain situations, whether it's good or bad. And that's what we need to really focus on. And I think that's how we can actually get together and produce things and do things better by understanding what a person will do in a certain situation that might be offensive or anything. But in reality, um, unless it's um, people are harassed or being hurt or things like that, pretty much, um, for me, I, I pretty much ignore a lot of stuff because it's not, um, it's not, um, how can I say it? It's not productive for me to get upset. So like a lot of people ask me, well, why don't you get upset? And basically I just say, I just don't know how to get upset. You know, and what do you mean you don't know how to get so just get angry? Okay, I'm getting angry, but about what? You know, what's the purpose? So I think um, we've been taught, you've been taught to act a certain way under certain conditions, but in the real world and stuff like that, you know, there are cases where you probably just say, oh, well, you don't know, forget it, you know? And so we need to get that attitude, you know, that attitude. Now, if you really want to make a lot of money, you really want to make a lot of money, you know, the best thing you're going to have to do is pretty much invest, you know, and be, um, buy property, build apartment buildings, rent them out, um, things, you know, invest in things that people need, you know, and that's how you're going to real, make really, really real money. And then there are a lot of other things too, like a lot of immigrants coming into the States they don't speak English, you know, you can jump on that, um, a lot of things. But the whole thing is, is that you need to understand that um, you are in positions where people look up to you. And it's whether, whether you're a church, you're a black politician, a black preacher, uh, a black gang leader, a black um, community leader, whomever, male or female, doesn't matter. 
you have a lot of responsibility and your responsibility is really simple it's just um, making sure that everyone in the neighborhood is gaining this knowledge and understanding this knowledge and everyone have different skills so they pursue different um, fields and stuff like that and it, it may take a while you know college is going up so sometimes you can get some of these teachers you know these brothers who know this stuff and pay them to teach you know and you guys can I'm sure you can open up your own universities and things like that or many universities where you know you can teach stuff like that because the whole thing is like um, I read this one well, I saw this one video where this one black woman was talking about how the police up in um, about the police up in um, Oklahoma and it was one thing that they did and one guy reported and had papers and everything she didn't listen so he tore it up and then later it came out that he was right and she kind of regretted that she didn't um, listen to the guy but what basically was the, the re end result is a lot of brothers are getting these felonies so they can't get jobs and stuff like that but um, these brothers aren't stupid you know and they can create a lot of the, these jobs or these companies that they can't work in and stuff like that um, you know they can create a lot of stuff and I'm talking about I'm talking about finance I'm talking about teachers I'm talking about weapons development I'm talking about vehicles I'm talking about gas I'm talking about um, um, plants and foods and lumber and and all kinds of things you know and there's a lot of room in the United States that's not that is not um, utilized it's not being utilized and a lot of people are selling a lot of homes a lot of property and it's really important that you get together and, and buy this and a lot of these um, communities where um, brothers are really a highly unemployed and stuff like that then you know you need to get in there you know talk to the leaders whoever get in there and make sure that you can show people basically what it is is we're all chasing money and money is good to chase and everything but you have to understand what is money money is like a it's like a, a false type of a motivator because you want it's not that you want the money if you want the things that you can get with money but most of the things that you can get with money you don't need money to get it basically so if you want clothes like a lot of women um, learn to sell clothes guys need to learn to sell clothes and, and sell them in your neighborhoods you know people need to buy from um, them you know like I said you can make your sandals you can make jeans you can go to different places and and get the material all over the world you know they're manufacturing these things and you can go over there and get it, send it back, or you can have it delivered to you, and and stuff like that. So there's um, there are ways where people can make money. You don't need you don't need a job to bring income. You need a product to sell, you know. And if you don't have people that's working, you know, to make this um, money, they can't get jobs. Then what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to be able to you're going to have to create um, things that people want that make um, that people want worldwide and then people can buy it from you because if you make a a, um, a web page and there are a lot of brothers out there they can whip them up can make them secure and stuff and you put products out there to sell from the states and different things like that because I like I said in one of my videos for a long time ago and here in Japan they sell a lot of um, antique things that you would normally see in black homes and that's another thing too you know a lot of um, black people really don't understand that a lot of people overseas really do love our culture but you don't love it yourself and you need to embrace your culture because everyone else is embracing it now they might not uh, you might think of why they want to embrace our culture because it's violent but every culture has its violence it might not be on TV in the United States but if once you go overseas and you see what's going on you're like oh my god you know it's just like at home you know and um, and I'm not saying you know it's really bad but some places are some places aren't but you know basically the the people in their normal settings no different than 
us and I know my setting as far as they eating, the way they dress, no one you know, a lot of people are dressing all fancy and stuff and all the streets aren't all you know, like they are on T V and stuff like that. So once you start going overseas you'll get a clear vision. And plus those guys who ever go overseas, they will um their whole minds will get get cleansed, their whole attitude will change and when they come back they're gonna be a whole different person because they've gotten a chance to shed all that crap that's been built it up and they thought and they'll come back with a whole different mind, different, you know, a lot of ideas. And I, I swear I made this one video, I don't forgot the name of it, but about if a hundred thousand or a million black men went and traveled or something like that and every one of them, you know, um, took five thousand dollars to go spend around the world, you know, how would we be accepted? And um you do that every year and all these other countries can get you know they're gonna start seeing that that's a lot of money, you know. A hundred let's say a hundred thousand men, that's like five million dollars going, you know, to um to one let's say everyone went to one country, which is not gonna happen, but still, you know, that money's going around and a lot of um countries and a lot of people, you know, someone's gonna pay attention to the money, you know, and they're gonna cater to um cater to you. You know, it's imagine if a million men with five hundred thousand I mean, you know, five thousand dollars travel you know it's just for educational purposes and stuff you know a lot of um country are gonna um gonna take you in and stuff like that so especially if you can um do that um before you go make arrangements and stuff like that and you know and tell them some you know some people they might be jerks but still the smarter ones will take advantage of you know all that money that's leave, that's leaving the country and stuff like that but there are a lot of things that you need to do. And I know at first it's, it would be re it's really difficult, especially if you don't have any ideas and things. So that's why I said my first video, you know, just start simple, you know, just start over. You know, if you're, if you're a leader and you, you ain't old as I am and stuff like that, a little younger, or maybe even older, you know, you say, well, I'm too old. You're not too old to do any, you're not too, you're too old not to keep trying. Uh huh. I mean, um, you're not too old to do anything, so you can keep doing it and you can keep doing it. And what's going to happen is once you start activating your mind, you know, you're going to you're going to wake up and you're like, wow, you know, and things are going to get better, especially if you eat better. I mean, like I was saying in one of my videos, if people just it's like this. In the black neighborhoods, we don't really talk too much about investing to um, younger kids. So investing, you walk up to a kid that's five years old. He's in the store, about to go to the store. You're like, what are you going to do? I'm going to buy some candy. He's like, okay, you spend some money. You spend your dollar on the candy. In a year, how much are you getting back from the company that you bought the candy from? And the kid is say nothing. And you say, well, here, let me tell you something. You can make money with that dollar. You can make that dollar work for you. And the kid like, how, you know? or whatever, you know, you just tell the kid straight up, you know, you take that dollar, you save it. Then when you get enough money, you can invest or give that money to a company to help that company um, pay workers to make that candy. So then when it comes to the store and you see your friends eating that candy over there, well, if you have, would have helped um, the company to make those candy bars by, you know, investing or, you know, uh, providing money for them um, to do it, then once at the end of the year, the profit, which profit means the money that's, the extra money that you have once you paid off all the um, P workers and stuff like that, because they only five, so you got to do that, say it like that, then the extra money, you'll get some of it, you know, depending on how much you contributed. And the kid like, wow, really? He said, yeah. And the kid like, oh, you know, I don't, I didn't think I can get money from doing that. And like, yeah, you know, that's it. So you know, when you go and you buy something, it's okay to buy things, but don't try to cut back because a lot of stuff you buy and you just do it through emotions. You know, you see a candy, you think can you think your mind like, oh my God, this candy is gonna taste good. And then you create it, you release your adrenaline, and da 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 da, and you get this feeling, so you go in there and buy it. And the candy bar is never going to ever taste as good as you imagine. But it's still going to taste good, but you still waste your money because once you bought that candy bar, your dollar is gone and you got that candy bar. 
and once you finish eating, then what? At the end of the year, getting nothing. So you spend your parents' money, right? But you save your money. And and young kids at five years old, you know, they can understand that stuff. And once you start to um, do that, and um, you'll start, you'll create a change, you know. And you talk to the other brothers too, the out there smoking and um, just going out to dinner, just spending money, drinking and stuff like that. You know, I was thinking to myself, if I was in the hood, you know, back in the States, I'd open up a bar where people go dance and they would have drink juices and, um, you know, premium juices, premium water, you know, no smoking. You know, everybody can dance and, and everything. I might, maybe some wine or some champagne, but, you know, um, no, nah, I would try to keep it all healthy. And then when you're there dancing, you know, everybody, you know, talking and stuff and, and just make it a real a family outing instead of just, you know, guys going to club, you know, getting drunk so that they can um, 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 dim their nerves, you know, or the cowardness in them to go talk to women and women do the same thing, you know, because um, that will that will be really good. And I'm sure if. At first, it probably wouldn't be worth it. Um, maybe it wouldn't go so well, but I think after a while, a lot of people would see the difference and they would they would actually be interested. And the clubs could just change over, you know. And then if you're producing those juices and and, and stuff like that, you you would get that money. And I know, <laughs> I know this sounds strange, and you know it's kind of stupid. And a lot of people they don't care. You know, and it's okay, you know, it's okay. But um, those who don't care, you know, um, maybe they have a life that they want. And, you know, like someone said to me, you know, hey, this is what I got. This is what I developed. So, you know, they got to work hard and do the same thing. So, um, basically what I want to say is think big. And you have to think out of the neighborhoods you got to think out of your city out of your state out of the country you have to think worldwide you have to think big and it's really it's not so much as thinking big as you know you have to do a lot but you still all this stuff out there that these people are everybody's making this stuff you know we had that stuff first you know and a lot of that stuff they um didn't just create you know a lot of that stuff was already created and and then people just recreating or rediscovering it again and stuff like that. But you're smart and the people who are you have power over, you know, or control over or whatever, you know, they're smart too. So get people out there and do things and don't doubt anything because all doubt is it's just a um, just some image that you created in your head. And then you say, oh, well, that's impossible. And it's it's not, it, your brain doesn't work like that. You know, your mind doesn't work like that. That's your emotions working like that. So please try to get control of that. And I know I'm coming off really different than what a lot of people would say, but I'm providing ideas and I'm providing roads that will take you to new places, new horizons and things like that. And it will reduce a lot of crime and a lot of negativity that's in the neighborhoods and bring people together. And not so much to bring people together in an emotional way, but bring people together intellectually. And that was where really the strength is because emotions, you know, it just, they come and go, but intellect is there forever. So um, please um, get on the intellect and, and you're not dumb. No one is dumb. Like I said before, math is just adding and subtracting and all that other stuff is just some type of abbreviation of things. Uh, when you're doing science, you know, it's a lot of math, but there are a lot of things that you have to remember. You know, just record that stuff, you know, get it, read it, record it, listen to yourself, listen to it, you know, everywhere you go and um, you'll, you'll do so much better because all this stuff that you're learning is just stuff that other people had to learn too. And if you want to develop something like this like um, this uh, bottle and stuff you know how is this made you know how is this bottle made you know what's the temperature and 
the design and with machines and stuff, you know. And some people say, well, I don't care how it may, you know, I just go buy the water. But uh, eventually, if you just spinny, 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 and you're not producing and bringing any income in where, you know, um, you have a product and it could be over in another country being sold, you know, eventually you're going to run out and if the money's not circulating through the the uh, neighborhoods then you know things are going to get run down a lot of people who can um, who are doing well they're going to leave to better places i guess and those who are stuck are just going to get stuck you know but even if you do get stuck you still can create you know and get on that net and learn that stuff because um, if you don't know it's that they have lots of help and i'm not saying that i'm doing it because i got to learn this stuff too but you know, I have an idea to make, you know, a billion dollars, and it's really simple. But um, I'm just saying, you know, because I'm, I'm not in a rush, but I do hurt. I need to do it. But uh, I'm just saying that you can do the same thing, you know, and it's really not that difficult because there's no such thing as difficult. Like I said, you know, we say, oh, it's hard and all this stuff, but it's just something you make up in your mind. And then because your, 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 your emotions convince you that it's true, then you're going to believe it. But don't believe that stuff, you know. Um, everything is um, uh, um, comprehensible. It's just that you might need to have a, um, a certain tutor or you might have to listen to it a whole bunch of time because there's always order. And when there's not order, there might be chaos, but the chaos might have its purpose too. So... Um, anything that's not in order, it probably doesn't even exist. You know, it's no such thing. So, um, anyway, I'm finished, but please turn your, 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 your groups into corporations and make money. And if you don't know how, then just start from the beginning and um, there's a lot of information out there. And if you don't know where to get these products, then just go online and, and straight up put in, I want to know where to get leather to make shoes. And they'll pop up, you know. So well, I want to know how to do this. I want to know how to do that. You know, start making these kids who are in school, elementary school, study. You know, they shouldn't be out in the streets running around if they got homework to do and they need to do extra. The guys that are in high school and high school, in college and everybody just need to get on it because um, if you don't start building nuclear facilities or or, or uh, these uh, what is it pulse security um, like this one game I played it had this pulse thing you know where it sent uh, electrical energy to one or other one and it lit up the city or something I forgot the name it was one of these first um, games I played on the computer um, when I came to Japan but um, you can create those things and you need to start getting together and working together and talking that stuff because the same stuff that you're talking now, whether you're talking about smoking weed or whatever, you know, once you start understanding that scientific stuff and start talking, you know, it's the same type of conversations, um, the same attitude towards the conversation, the laughter and, and the thrill and excitement is going to exist there too. But anyway... I said I'm finished. Peace.